is that we can use it as a science to replicate some sort of magic. Yeah. For example, I can take what looks like water, I've got an empty beaker here, I put one into the other. Water into wine. Now obviously, as all year sevens will know, that's not probably what's going on here. This is actually a nice hydroxide. I've added it to an indicator to change the colour. Now, the next one I want to show you is another little colour change. Again, it's using indicators, but it also relies on air and gases in the air to change the pH. So as this pours into the flask, you should get a nice slow change in colour. So it'll slowly change and it'll get darker and it'll go pinker. Yeah? So it goes clear again. And then once it's gone clear, I can pour it from up here. And then it slowly fades so from purple, and we'll leave it just to absorb that. Changes pink, goes quick, and then we add it to the other beaker again. And we can just keep doing this all day long changing its pH backwards and forwards. As we watch as it slowly loses its colour. Nice pink, and back to clear. And then we can send it blue again. Okay, so that's our colour changes. But colour changes, not the most exciting. Let's see if we can make something a bit more Vibrant. This is a classic experiment, one of the absolute sort of foundations of how to show off in chemistry. And we really hope this works because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But let's see what we can do. It's quite warm in here, which will help the yeast. What I'm doing is I'm putting hydrogen peroxide into this measuring cylinder. And as I fill it up, I put about 120, 130 minutes. There we go. In fact, these lines, here is a got there. So we put that in. And we can add washing up liquid. Ooh. And what this washing up liquid will do is it will help to trap any bubbles. And the reason we're going to trap some bubbles is because we want this to look a little bit like toothpaste. And to help with that, just to get the right sort of colours in there, I'm going to put a little tiny drop in this down the side of there. Okay. Drop down the other side. I might put too much in there. Let's we'll see. Let's put some down that side as well. I might put too much in, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now I'll give this a gentle stir because this is yeast. What yeast is really good at. What yeast is really good at is releasing carbon dioxide. So let's see what happens when I put my yeast into it. Elephant's toothpaste. Now it's not worked with the stripes as I wanted, but what we can see is we've got that rapid decomposition. We've got lots of gas that's being trapped in my washing up liquid, and it'll just keep frothing and frothing and frothing and frothing and frothing, and, frothing. and it's slowly filling up my tray. In fact, it's beginning to actually fill my tray. But we've got this nice frothy effect. This is the elephant's toothpaste. Now if you do this under the right conditions, it's a little bit warmer. If you've got really, really fresh chemicals, then you can actually sometimes get shooting right out the top. But this is the elephant's toothpaste experiment. Is it green? Oh, we've got a nice green stripe. There we go. That's what I was aiming for. You can get it with a red stripe as well, but uh, that's not come out quite so clear. But yes, that is that. But again, this is just playing with gases. There's no real flames. There's no real pops. There's no sound effect to this one. So we started with colours. We've moved on to sort of lots of gas being released. But let's see if we can make a bit more of a pop. What I'm going to do is we're going to come right over to this side of the bench. Now you won't remember these, but these are film canisters. When you use to take a photo, you have an actual film in your camera. What I'm going to do is take one of those. I'm just going to add a small effervescent tablet. Now these have an acid and an alkali that have been dried.
dried out, mixed together. They won't activate until I add water. And to make them go a little bit quicker, I'm going to use warm water. But all I do is I blue tack some of these onto the lid. So they're held in place. Okay? Held in place with a little tiny dab of blue tack. Now I'm going to mix these with water. And when these react, they're going to start to produce a gas. Now gases don't like being trapped in the same space, they try and escape. And that's exactly what these are going to try and do. So I'll put my spares back in there, put these out of the way. Take some warm water, because warm makes reactions go a little bit quicker. It'll make it go just that little bit faster. We're going to add a little water in there. I'll do the same into these. So I've now got little canisters, little foam canisters, a drop of water in each one. Okay, now water, all it's going to do is activate. Ooh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope that doesn't happen when I put the lid on properly. Now, there's a bit of a knack to this. See if we can set them all up and then set them all off at once. So we can set them all up and set them all off at once. So on the clear ones, you might actually be able to see that reaction taking place through the canister. Otherwise, let's just go see what happens. Oops. So a little bit more exciting. They went a little bit fast, the seals weren't very good, so some of them didn't pop very high. But we got some nice reactions as they come forward. You can actually still see the reacting material and that gas that's being produced. So they're quite exciting, but still, I reckon there's scope for one more. Now, this is called the wash bottle. We're going to do it for a small amount. And this is a very flammable liquid. Now, as a liquid, as a liquid, it's not, it's not going to be the most fun. Okay? It's not going to be the most fun. It works better when it's a gas. So let's give it somewhere. Let's give it somewhere to evaporate into. Let's create an atmosphere of this flammable gas. Let's spread out its surface area, make it evaporate a little bit quicker. Okay, and we'll leave this just for a second. Now it's called the wash bottle. We can set fire to that gas, we can help it expand. <laughs> now, it does tend to expand quite quickly. It does tend to catch fire. So you need to be a little bit careful with this one. Just a little bit careful. So I've got my extra long match. Water 
into wine. We change the colour of our chemicals just using the air. So just allowing that to pour from one beaker to another was enough to change its colour to this purple. The purple changes to pink. The purple changes to pink. There we go. And the pink eventually goes clear. And then we can change it back again. We then moved on to our elephant's toothpaste. In our elephant's toothpaste, we've got this nice frothy reaction as that gas released from the hydrogen peroxide, the bleach solution, that got trapped in the washing up liquid and it all frothed up and came over the top. Now, we moved over, we looked at this experiment where we used warm water and we used an acid and an alkali as a powder. We put them together. We added some water to the canister. We trapped that gas as it tried to escape, so let's put the lid on nice and tight. Elliot, get rid of it. Fellas, do be a little bit careful. If you're too near this, it might get you. See, the lids aren't very tight on these, so they're not working too well. Let's see if we can get this one going again, because the black one should work quite well. It's a bit of a tighter seal on that. Let's see if this works a bit better. leaves the bottle, that's where we get our whoosh sound from. The heat also expands the gas that's already in here, and that also whooshes out of here. We get that nice sound, we get the nice flame colours inside. So, let's give this time to evaporate, let's see if this one can go as well. That's looking good, it's a good start. It shows that it's beginning to evaporate a bit. Now let's see if I can Get this lift again. Ah, um, uh, okay. We try and. Okay. So let's get my long match lip. It's the last thing we want. Is to use a short match when it's producing that much fire. Thank you very much, gentlemen.